Welcome everybody to a first look at Anti-Hero. This is a board game built around thieving and in the old days of London with little street urchins helping us out as well as our own uh, merry gang of thugs. For those of you watching this, Anti-Hero is currently in early access but the game is due out on July 10th and I'm playing a pre-release build for anyone for any uh, co uh, members of the press kind of thing so what you're going to see should be very representative of the final version of the game I've had anti-hero in my library for a few months now but I've been waiting for it to get closer to completion so we can get a really good look at the title and for what I'm seeing I'm enjoying it and I think this is going to be a lot of fun for groups of people but we're going to play through probably a skirmish map for today to show off the rules and just what you're going to be doing in this game. Now when you do pick it up, it does come with a campaign mode, which just basically puts you through the paces, as well as unlocking new avatars. There's of course online multiplayer here, which you have to set up an account for with their own thing, with their own service I should say. But we're going to be doing just some skirmish here. Again, alter the rules, change things around, and again, your avatar, you unlock them through the campaign or by, I think, buying a special DLC, but other than that, it should be very straightforward. So we'll just go with light finger here. All right. So what's interesting is that the maps themselves actually will alter your victory conditions, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is actually go right back to the main menu, because I want to do one that is a little bit more straightforward than what you're going to first see. But I do like the fact that each map itself has its own rules. It lends more towards that board game feel. There we go. So this is the one that the campaign plays so far around the big city rule set. And this will make it very easy to talk about the gameplay. So, here's our map. Each one of these points here are establishments that we can burgle and set up to get upgrades and such. We have two, we start out with two actions per round. An action will be taken up whenever we either attack, enter a building, or reveal the fog of war. <laughs> so let's do a little scout. So we've burgled a building here and we can do two uh, burgles on a single building but the second one will be less so we come over here and at the end of each round we can spend lanterns up here for upgrades and the upgrades are built into different categories so I'm gonna go for scout this basically lets me get three actions so I can start moving forward here. Now, I kind of screwed up the order here while trying to talk and play at the same time. But you really want to start with a lantern. Okay. So that is our assassination contract. And that's one of the ways of winning the game. Or at least specifically winning this kind of map. So let's do things correctly. First, we're going to get a lantern. And you can basically hold or take over establishments. So let me move over here. We have a normal thug there that we can beat up for some coin. Well, instead, I'm going to head back over here. Got it. Good. So, if we come back over here to our upgrade, I'm going to unlock the Urchins. Urchins, there we go. Who are our Cockney... Uh, children who will enter buildings for us. Now if I don't want to get an upgrade, I can basically do charity, which either gets me a lot of gold, a lot of lantern lanterns, but no upgrades. So I'm going to move him right into here. Right, then. 
This will start generating more lanterns per turn, and we put two more urgents in there, we will get double. Not much more I can do this turn, so we'll end it. Now, I left this guy alive for a very specific purpose, and you'll see that on this next turn. <laughs> Someone just got whacked. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is immediately go over here. I'm going to unlock a gang. And your gang are basically your roaming um, offensive unit. Whenever they beat up someone or knock urchins out of a building, they will get a level up. So I'm going to do that right Let's now. Go. Do it. With his nice little top hat. And now I can upgrade him to do more damage knock more urchins out, or get more gold per kill. Right now, I think we're going to go for more damage. So now it's my turn once again. What I really want to do is get an urchin into the church. This will set me up to get gold per turn, and if I put three in there, we'll get a victory point. So. Get in there, boy. Now the cost of unlocking a character here, it goes up each time I hire someone per turn, but then that cost will reset at the start of the next. So this guy is done for right now. I can't do anything more with him. Yes. So let's see what we can find. Good, another church. So what I can do is I could either hire another urchin for four and put it in now to get the guarantee two, or wait one turn, and this guy will go back down to three. But I think I want to get old gold early, so you go in there. I have one more action, and I can move around on areas I've been to without generating or without costing an action. It's only when I'm actually doing something that it will go off. So what I want to do now is actually scout over here. Because I want to see what this building is and if I can mess with him. Again, because I already got my upgrade at the start, I can't do anything else. Also, the cost per upgrade goes up, similar to buying units each time or multiple times on a turn. So it makes sense to just do one at a time. So, we're done here. So now we're going to tick off all the things we've unlocked. Alright, now it's her turn. Alright, she didn't really do anything, at least from what I can see. Alright, so, this is actually very important. The, there's three ways on this map to get victory points. One is we bribe using lanterns, and each time we do that, this cost goes up. We get three urchins in a church to get a blackmail, or we kill targets for assassination. Now, the assassination and the bribery are locked. Once you get them, they are yours, while holding churches you will only get that point, or you will only keep that point as long as there are urchins in there. If you lose one or all of them, you lose that victory point. So it's very important to get assassinations and bribery, as they are permanent. So what I want to do now is, I want to scout. Oh, look at that. Well, that's not good for them. Why don't we get rid of them? Now she's lost the bonus, and we get a, another level up. And he's at level 3, or he will be at level 3 next. Um, I'm gonna go for... Um, we're at 2 right now. Eh, let's go for another damage. Oh, there's their gang.
So, this area is kind of stuck at the moment. We've looked at that. I would really like to see what's over there. Mm. Okay, time's up. I'm going to hire a thug next. And thugs can either be used to block roads, forcing them to get around, or we add them to the gang okay. and gives them more health. And again, cost goes up each time I buy one per round. So this will protect our gang from any kind of trouble. Alright, so what does she have? Oh no, she stole a masterpiece. Alright, so she just got a bribe. We have to do something about that. Do I have the means of the truant officer? No. We could go for the dagger. I won't go for the lamp lighter, I think, right now. Now we will get two lanterns per turn. Let's see what we have. Good. And again, I don't want her to keep getting double lanterns, so we'll take that out. This time, I'm going to go for eviction. If she puts one more in there, we'll just really mess her day up. And let's see. What can I see right now? Is that all? Got it. Good. Good, an orphanage. We can put someone in there. Uh, what do we want right now? Again, we could add another thug. I think what I'm going to do is I'm on it. start cultivating my trading house. There we go. Give me those lanterns. I do want to get to that assassination down there. Oh, look at that. She is really cultivating that place. I've already been there, so she doesn't get as much. But she's leveling up her gang. Alright. Yeah, let's put an end to that. If I can find her gang, we can maybe deal with it. There it is. Yeah, so I think what we're gonna do. Yeah. What's that? Is that all? Is it's shut more. this down. That way she can't use him against me. Gold kill. Boy. Right away. You get in there. Go for an additional action. Plus health to thugs. I can actually attack. Hmm. Go for the truant officer. We can really screw with them. Basically, the cost of some of these advanced ones, it's basically designed that you want to try to... Um, your action should hurt them more than the cost it was to you. Now, he is... Now, this guy will go away after the next round. And again, if she wants someone else, she will have to spend the money. Now, there's no bank yet. We haven't found one. Which is another way of getting some more money. We'll need to do some scouting. What do we want right now? 
Yeah, you know what? Let's go for this. We have one more action. And now I can see what's going on. on it. Good. She will probably start messing with me, though, very shortly. But yeah, we will knock out those urchins this round, just to stop her from doing anything else. Alright. We need to see what's in that building, too. Now, this guy should go away. Yeah. Again, the gang can only attack one time per round. Let's see what we have. Got it. He'll go away at the end of this turn. Of course. Good. That should shut that down for right now. Let's go with that. Now, let's see what we can find. Good, we found the bank. We can make use of that. Mm, we can attack the truant officer. Mm. We could also buy another bribe. I'm gonna go for the attack. So now, if I wanted to, I can attack these guys by myself. All right, that's fully upgraded. We need to take that out. Okay. I'm trying to keep our gang cultivated here. But yeah, we will definitely send an urchin into the bank next. We should also be able to target the assassination next. Oh, no. Alright, so that's done. She's going for money. Oh! Oh, she used an assassination. You fiend. We may have to use a truant officer to mess with that. Alright, so the first thing that I need to do... ...is start messing with... ...is getting some money going. And again, because of my upgrade, I can now actually attack on my own. Alright, so the first thing we should do is take the orphanage. This will reduce the penalty. So we can now do all this. Good. Two more urgents in there and we will be set up. I can only attack once per turn. I'm here. All right, let's get another gang. Let's go. Not bad. I have to be careful to not take her down too far, or they may be able to kill her, and then I lose the point. Is that all? So let's see what we can find. All right. Gonna lock the master scout soon. We get double our damage. Mm. I don't think she's gonna be able to afford a bribery on the next action. 
She used the sisters. That's what she did to kill my gang, that fiend. We could also trap buildings. Mm. Let me see. Does she have three? Yeah, you know what? Let me show you probably the creepiest guy in this game. That's a truant officer. Basically, he is the anti-urgent. So... Of course. Hello, children. <laughs> Get him. Off we go. I don't think I want to think about where he takes them, though. <laughs> Very nasty guy there. Alright, so... Here comes our gold. So while we are losing right now in terms of victory, we have a, I hope we have a much stable base in terms of getting resources. What was that? Up. Oh, she's leveling him up. We need to deal with this guy before he gets too powerful. Hmm. That is fine. Oh, nope, she's going for a supercharge here. So she's spending a lot of resources. Hmm. That could work. On my way. Let's scout. What I want to do is unlock the reinforced steel. So now I do three. Yeah. Let's go. So let's knock all that out. And I will do uh, let's go for more gold. So what we can also do... Oh, this guy's blocking like an evil man. We can also send urchins, once the orphanage is fully upgraded, to basically take over buildings for ourselves. But right now... We will do that. So now we're going to get a whole lot of money and a whole lot of lanterns. I have two more rounds, or two more actions to make here. Let's see what's going on here. Alright. Good chance you could probably kill our gang. However, getting the bank is going to give us a lot of resources. But I do want to get back into my orphanage and take that back. So he's leaving. Alright, there's the gang again. If she fills that back up, we'll have to use a truant officer. Where is this guy? Again, I can see everywhere that I've been to, basically. There you are. Can I get the super upgrade yet? Hmm. Of course. Let's knock him out. Go for plus damage. And yeah. Let's <laughs> get some super urgent. I gotta check our time, too. This is getting a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be. 
But yeah, this is why money is really good in this game. So our urchin network is now fully upgraded. So I actually want to... Uh, nah, I better wait. Let's send you over here. Okay. Now I still have two more actions. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I have three more actions. Let's uh, knock him out a little bit. Okay, that's been scouted. Where else? I think we've looked at every building. Okay, we can see that. Alright, and then what do we have here? Hmm, we could go for full that. Additional action next turn. Hmm. Go there. Give our thugs more power. It would be nice to get a second gang. That will give us a lot more mobility on the map. Stabbery is our upgrade. Uh, hmm. The rate we're going, good chance we'll be able to unlock things quickly. Hmm. Again, decisions, decisions. And these three trees are, the, are locked for each play from what I've seen. Right, I'm gonna go for safe cracking. Alright, so we can kill this guy next round. Now here come our resources. So now I can, as long as she doesn't mess with my orphanage, I can just go to town on her trading houses. And probably the shift too. I should scout that out next round. Yeah, she's just stealing masterpieces. Alright, we're gonna have to mess with those true and off. Uh oh. She is trying to mess with me there. She bought a true and officer, which means that she can send them out to me destroy my uh, guys here. So let's see what we can do. Boy. Close. All right, we mess with that. Uh, can we find her gang? Is that all? What's my damage anyway? What I can do, actually, is we will trap our orphanage. So if she tries to do anything, it won't work. Hmm. I don't think we take it over, but let's see what happens. No. We just take it for ourselves. I have two more actions to look at. Oh yeah, that's right. Let me double check this out. Yeah, let's mess with them. We don't get gold for that, but we can certainly, yeah, do a double eviction. And I think I want to hire another thug to okay. join our gang. So let's see if she takes the bait and tries to mess with my orphanage. No one's on any assassinations yet, which is surprising. Alright, so he's out. 
Is she gonna do it? Oh, got her. Alright, so I do want to knock that guy out. Yeah, these two have to die. Oh no. Good. We cancel his effect. Alright, so I do two points of damage, but now, oh wait, I can upgrade this to three. So now I can just kill this guy right from the get-go. Goodbye. Knock out her utility. Oh, we can evict. And I'm gonna go for full damage here. Because what I wanna do is start assassinating. Mm hmm. I've got it. Not bad. So what I'm gonna do now to protect my buildings here. We'll take them over. Even if she immediately takes them back. We're going to get a lot of lanterns. Hmm. Now she, kn I know how much money she has, so she doesn't have enough for another truant officer. I have two more actions. Alright, that's been taken over. Let's see if we can find her. There she is. And as you kill assassination targets, more will pop up on the map. Alright. Now, if I wanted to, we could also throw some urchins into the churches and gain two victory points that way. But those are just really juicy targets, so I don't want to do that just yet. But this next round, as long as she doesn't mess with my gang... Uh-oh. Did you really buy another one, or is that just the same guy? Oh, you. I didn't think... I thought that he was gone that round. But the good news is... I can easily... take that cost back. Alright, so she just spent for another victory point. Paintings are back. Hello. I'm on it. So since we've taken these buildings, I don't think we need to worry about urchins just yet. But what I'm gonna do now is get my first victory sure. point. And that is by killing her. Basically, if I can get to three, I will win by default. Get some more gold. Another person will pop up on the map soon. Alright, we got the bonus there. And right now what I'm just doing is trying to eat up her turns. Mm -hmm. We'll get the art critic. This lets me steal and get bonus lanterns. I'll take that. Again, now I'm just going to scout around. So I have the majority of the map uncovered. We'll probably try and steal stuff as well. Yeah. We could go for jewelry if we wanted to. Mm-hmm. It's going to get very expensive to do that soon. However, we have the advantage right now. What do we want here? Yeah, let's just scout. That way I have a pretty good idea of where everything is. And we're going to be rolling in the gold now. 
What I may do next round is get another urchin into both my churches so that we can basically just bomb the game once we've gotten to three. Now, what is she? Okay, we have a new target, which we can actually kill. Yeah, she doesn't have enough for anything. Again, I can target that and kill him. Yeah, so she may be winning in victory points, but we are winning in terms of control. So he does four. Yeah. Of course. Okay, we just knocked out three of her money. And we'll go for that. Next turn, we'll take that, and then we will probably start pushing towards winning. Actually, one, two, three. Yeah. I got my bribe. We'll take point number three next turn. Hello. And what I'm going to do now is just right, set then. up for the win in the next action. Or, I'm sorry, the next round. Hello. Nope, not that one. Where's my other church? There it is. Right away. Now, what can we do? I have one more action to my name. Oh, we can steal another masterpiece. And then at this point, we'll just do some more scouting. Alright. So, if everything goes accordingly, this will be our final turn. With only one gold and two lanterns, she doesn't have a lot that she can do. Alright. Still not enough for a truant officer. Nope, that's not gonna do it. He's trying to knock out my gang. Nope. That evil witch. She's trying to hurt my precious gang. Did you say more? <laughs> Alright, so let's take the win, shall we? Hit her. Yeah. Let's go. That gets us the contract. And now... Yeah, so this guy is fully leveled. We want... If we were to keep playing, we would want to protect him at all costs. There's number four, and here is number five. Boy. All right, then. And that's game. Victory. And again, if you want to play the campaign, they basically take you through each of the different maps, and you unlock more stuff that way. But, if you're going to play Skirmish or play online, what we just did is going to be a pretty good indicator of the big city map. So thank you so much for watching this first look at Antihero. I'm enjoying the game. It has a lot of interesting touches. I do think it may be a get a little bit repetitive considering how upgrades and the rules are locked each map but they can certainly you know expand things hopefully in the future the game does well enough like I said if you're interested in playing the game you can buy it now it's going to be released on July 10th and then I believe that's going to be the version that you're going to that I'm playing right now but not 100% sure on that but if you have a few friends who like these kinds of turn-based games, this can definitely be a great one. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to see if there's a way 
to set up like multiple people. No. Well, we'll just have to see how things go when the game is released. So, thanks again for watching. If you're new, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check back for daily discussions on game design here and on GameWisdom.com, where we examine the on science of games. Once again, this has been Antihero, the turn-based thievery, thievery game. Wow, I can't talk anymore. And I will catch you all next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And come back around 10 Eastern for regular streaming. For a collection of my writings as well as weekly podcasts on game development, be sure to check out game-wisdom.com. Follow me on Twitter at GWBicer for updates throughout the day. And to help support everything that I do, you can find me on Patreon under GWBicer or Game Wisdom. Your donations can help to keep things running, and when we hit some goals, it will mean more content for everyone to enjoy. So, thanks again for watching, and be sure to come back for daily discussions on game design on the Game Wisdom channel.